With your first News at 6 Sports, here's Lee Timmerman. Softball starts the run of high school all-star games, and the West is on a roll, winning the last nine games played against the East. June 3rd is when the Shields softball all-stars will be competing in Bismarck. Now, all of the all-star events are for athletes who just graduated, and Dickinson's Jenna Decker is one of seven on the West roster. Decker is a mainstay in the Dickinson lineup, and the outfielder certainly has some power. The other local players on the West roster include Trinity's Ava Yonner. She co-ops with Decker to be her teammate with the Midgets. Beulah seniors Ava Seibel and Callie Steffen, along with the trio from Bismarck Mandan, the Braves Savannah Gustafson, the Demons Jersey Berg, and Ashlyn Schumacher of the Patriots. Region 4 softball today, Beulah takes care of Hart River. They're the number one seed. Velva Drake Animus is the number three seed. Those two play tomorrow. Whoever wins that game goes to state. The elimination games this afternoon, Harvey Wells County in eight innings over Ned Rhodes and Wilton Wing, one runs Central McLean. There's no question the walleye is the most popular fish in North Dakota, but the walleye is far from the only game fish swimming in our state. And this week's Pro's Pointer, Johnny Candle, is talking about one of them. Oh, there's a nice eating size crappie, although we're not keeping them today. Let me get this one put back and we'll talk about them. Crappie are abundant throughout North Dakota. We can find them in the upper reaches of Lake Oahe, south of Bismarck, Lake Chida to the west, Jamestown Reservoir to the east, loaded with crappies. And today we're here on Nelson Lake. You can tell by the power plant over my shoulder, just hammering the crappies, having a blast. They're fairly simple to catch. A plain hook, a sinker, and a lively minnow below a red and white bobber's classic. Gets the kids involved, they have a lot of fun. And if you want to go after them with artificials, a jig with a spinner and a plastic tail, maybe a small hair jig, a small tube, usually is all it takes to catch them. And you want to remember, crappies are predators as well. Today, while we were fishing for bass, we caught more than a handful of crappie on what would be traditionally referred to as a walleye style crankbait. So it's not always about walleyes. Get out there, have fun, get the kids involved, catch a nice mess of eating size fish, and hopefully have a crappie day. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pro's Pointer. Next time, Johnny will show us something that's almost entirely used by women that may be found in your boat after you see his Pro's Pointer one week from today. Baseball to tell you about now, Region 8 loser out games. Shallow Christian takes care of Hazen. Beulah over Hart River 12 to 6. And Washburn Wilton Center Stanton's the only team without a loss after beating the Nighthawks this afternoon. Good enough, mm -hmm. and we'll be right back.